Hey guys, so today I thought I'd do a video on how, like, my eyebrows 101, basically, um, how I take care of my eyebrows, and asking some of you, I'm answering some of you guys' questions you guys may have about my eyebrows, everything, just excuse my hair, I am on second day curly hair, I curled it yesterday, um, anyways, and today I'm not really doing anything, so I just kind of don't have any makeup on or anything like that, I'm just gonna show you guys how I do my eyebrows, and, um, first, like, behind my my care thing I haven't like I barely started filling my eyebrows in sorry so I barely started filling my eyebrows in probably this year and honestly my eyebrows here's just them without like me doing anything to them let me just zoom in so you guys can see it better than me just like leaning forward um this is how they look they're kind of like I don't have that much hair there if you guys see they're not very thick um but I do have like black eyebrows because my hair is black um, so I don't really need to fill them in that much because I don't want them to be like super dark black, if you know what I mean. It just looks really weird and odd. So first of all, what I do with my eyebrows, like how I like maintain them or whatever, is I just pluck them. I've never got my eyebrows waxed or threaded. Honestly, I'm just too scared to do that. And like when I pluck them, I like can make them how I want them to be. So like I, nobody will like mess up on my eyebrows. That makes sense because I don't want eyebrows to be looking funky if someone like messes up on them. That's why I'm too scared to let anyone else do them. Honestly, I know my sister, my sister gets her eyebrows threaded and she says it doesn't hurt. Some other people say it does the first couple times you get it done. Honestly, plucking can hurt sometimes, but let me just tell you guys there's a remedy if plucking really hurts you. Honestly, plucking does not hurt that much. Like when I first did it, I was too scared and I was like, oh my gosh, it's going to hurt. And honestly, it only hurts when you're doing the ones like down here. The top ones don't hurt that much. Um, but yeah, I just use a plucker, which I don't have with me right now. But And I just pluck them and... Like, if you think it hurts that bad, then you can just put hot water around, like, where the hairs are going to pluck. And then it will not hurt that bad with a washcloth just to have hot water around it. That works. And so I just pluck them. And I pluck, like, whatever hairs I have right here, which I don't get that much. But And when I'm filling them in, I'm just going to show you guys how I fill them in. I just use a e.l.f. defining eye brightening eyeliner pencil. It's like an eyeliner pencil. But like I said, it's a black and my eyebrows are black. So first I just use my little swingy brush and I just kind of like f comb them out I don't I follow my natural eyebrow shape because I feel like it's weird if you like do the big archy eyebrows like I really don't like those on me like thicker eyebrows I don't like on me um like I stop I didn't feel I don't feel them in that much because honestly I don't like them to be dark so and then I just take it and like as you guys see right here I I need to sharpen this pencil no I'm just kidding um I'm just going through my natural shape. And let me go sharpen this because it's hair. <sighs> so, after I sharpen it, it works a lot better. Okay, there. So, I just use like soft strokes just so I don't get too much product on there. Use the freaking Birkin dogs too. I try to focus it mainly on like the outer corner because like it's like lighter there and there's hardly like any hairs. So honestly, at the front, I do not like it to be like super thick and defined. Um. Now I'm just going to comb it out. And I also use this to comb it out sometimes because if it's like not working out. As you guys see it looks darker today because I just sharpened it and yeah. It looks like weird on camera honestly. <laughs> so after I, I practically comb them out to death <laughs> until they do not have that much product because you see how thick, I mean like dark they look right now. Um, and then I get my palette. And I get my palette, and I really recommend this palette if you're looking for a cheap palette or whatever else. Let me just, like, honestly, there's way too much stuff on there right now. So then I get my palette, and I just use number one. Use I use a brush, but I don't have it with me, so. And I put it underneath my eyebrow, and then a little bit on top at the bottom. 
like on top I just put it literally to the end and this just helps your eyebrows look more defined and prettier and everything that's how I do my eyebrows and honestly it's pretty simple and I just keep combing them out with a brush until they look how I want them to look right now they're kind of thick I mean dark but that's how I do my eyebrows hopefully you guys enjoyed this video and I love you guys so much Merry Christmas to all of you guys because I won't see you guys after Christmas so thank you guys for watching again and bye so close up of my eyebrows um they look dark from far away but if you get close they look really light um like yeah bye